All right, so we're playing here a single player tutorial for Absolver, an upcoming online action game for uh, PC and PS4. So uh, we're going to start by going through the basic game mechanics um, of the game and eventually maybe going into PvP. So the game is structured with... Um, in the game, what the, you're doing is you're exploring the ruins of a city that was destroyed by an earthquake centuries ago. And while you explore the city, searching for basically your place in the world and meaning and what does it actually mean becoming a solver, you'll be seamlessly matchmaked with other players, such as the two players we see below. I could be going down and joining them and getting into their combat. But we're not going to do that right away. We're going to keep going into the big basic game mechanics. So you've got traditional game, combat game mechanics such as blocking, dodging, which you're seeing here. But we're going to see in a, in a second a couple of more advanced game mechanics that are unique to this game. If ever I manage to actually beat this guy up. So actually the first mechanic I'm going to show you is what we call flowing attacks. Flowing attacks, it's, the concept is you need to be attacking in the good timing. So if I look on this statue, I'm going to want to attack at the right moment. And when I see my character glowing when I attack, it means that I did a good flowing attack. And so this is a single player demo, but usually when you're walking around the world like that, you're going to meet other players constantly. And you can either make friends, you can trade, you can fight. It really depends on what the choices of both players are. So here I just did an avoid, which is a special ability of that combat style, which allows you to duck under attacks, to jump over low attacks, or to sidestep. Oof, actually that was the wrong choice. So now we're going to, I'm going to show you the, something that's really the meat of the combat system. And I'm going to show it to you via the combat deck which is an interface in which you customize your unique character uh, combat style. And so basically the idea is that when you're in combat or in your combat deck, at any time you can hold R2 and use the right stick to change your stance. And depending on the stance in which you are, you have different attacks that are at your disposal. And these attacks can be customized and replaced as you wish. So I'm going to go ahead and change my sequence of attacks. This is a sequence that starts in front right, and I'm going to make it so that it actually ends in front left. So after I do my mawashi and my back trip kick, if I keep on attacking, I'm going to land in my front left quadrant. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And I'm going to put a little slap in. And a, a heavier kick, such as, such as a front kick. So now, as you see, if I, if I lock on a statue here, I start in front left, in front right. I'm going to attack once, twice, and I finish in front left. So now if I attack, I'm going to give him a little slap and keep on attacking. So that's a pretty intricate uh, combat system, and it allows you to basically build your combos in real time. Wow. 
So the game feature, features weapons. So I can go ahead and equip a variety of weapons, such as swords and war gloves. And you have what we call tension shards, which are these little glowing rocks in your back. I can use them to heal myself or to draw my weapons, which is what I'm going to do right away. So now I've got a weapon. And from here, from the game world, you can join dedicated PvP game matches. Okay, so now we're in a, we're in a PvP game mode here. Um, so one thing that's really important is to really focus on your timing, which is what I'm doing here. So now that I have one shard, I can take out my sword. And depending on my combat style, I'm going to have a different uh, position. So when I see somebody, based on the way that they hold their weapons, I can know what style they're using and therefore what special ability they have. And the cool thing with, with weapons is that you can, you can mix sword moves and hand-to-hand -hand moves, which gives you a very flexible approach to weapons combat. Wow, I just got disarmed here, but I can go in and pick and pick back my weapon. Actually, I'm doing very little damages because I'm just guarding his, breaking his guard, but not actually doing serious damages to him. This is the end of a um, game mode in Absolver, online melee action game coming out in uh, 2017 on PC, PS4 and PC.